Ladies and gentlemen, today we have a really special guest with us, a veteran of the startup ecosystem. It is Ankit Nagori. You, of course, know him really well. You've seen him at Mintra, Flipkart. Then he, of course, started a cure fit with Mukesh Bansal. And now Ankit is pivoting and is in the really hyper-competitive business of cloud kitchens. Ankit, welcome to ET Now. Happy New Year. Hi, Nanta. Happy New Year. Hope you have had a great start to the year. Very happy to be on your show. The reason we're getting Ankit on the show today is because uh, Cure Foods has announced not one, not two, not three, not four, but five acquisitions. The idea, of course, to have a Tarasio house of brand style when it comes to cloud kitchens. Ankit, I think you're pretty much also proving that uh, change is the only constant. <laughs> Yeah, Nayantara, I think, uh, you know, uh, Thrasio is a great way to describe what we're trying to build. But of course, it's a lot more as well. So uh, from being a single brand health focused company, health food focused company in the last 12 months, we've been able to pivot to, you know, being a large cloud kitchen infrastructure and brand owner, multiple brands owner to that. And we've been able to, you know, uh, expand the footprint of EatFit uh, to pre-pandemic levels, while we also have been able to acquire a lot more brands. But the thesis is simple, Nantara, that you know people need to order a lot more very, very frequently, not only during the daytime, but also during, you know, uh, during weekends, during evenings. Our previous version of food was designed for a lot more daily consumption, uh, daily lunch ordering for people uh, showing up at work, etc. But with pandemic, we realized that the eating in occasions or ordering in occasions were a lot more. You couldn't have, you know, uh, served the same kind of food which you could serve during the daytime on weekends, etc. And hence, we started looking out for large categories, top brands. And now we've been able to assemble a large gamut of brands which can, you know, help you uh, order 28 times a week, which is four times a day, seven times a week and that would actually you know be possible with the brands that we have so yes a lot has changed and uh, changed for good oh absolutely now you know coming to the five acquisitions now we used we had gotten used to seeing you primarily with health foods but uh, there are as many as two pizza brands right you've got uh, juno's pizza as well as nomad's pizza you've got a cupcake brand which is a uh, cupcake uh, noggins too so like you said the idea being that you should be able to order what four times a day seven days a week 52 uh, weeks a year i take that but what is the ultimate plan you're going to do all of this on the back of a Zomato and a Swiggy? So, uh, you know, Zomato and Swiggy are uh, fabulous businesses and we keep hearing about all the millions of orders that they deliver. So, for any food ordering company, whether it's us or whether it's a large brand like a Domino's or a McDonald's, we all need Swiggy Zomato and they are like a great partner. But of course, there are more opportunities in, you know, creating more opportunities in subscriptions, in uh, different uh, you know, uh, point of sales, even Amazon is coming up as a large partner for us. So we want to be a truly multi-channel player. Swiggy Zomato will continue to be a large part of our business, but our own app, our own revenue channels, Amazon and other new channels are coming up. So like any new age brand, like any digitally first brand, you know, you must have seen so many D2C brands coming up and growing so well. Most of them have grown at the back of Flipkart, Amazon but they all have their own channels. We have a similar strategy. Swiggy Zomato will be a top channel for us, but we'll continue to sell uh, you know, through our own app, through own website. Even you know, Cult, uh, Cult app is a large uh, sales channel uh, for EatFit brand. So we will, we'll, we'll, we'll try to be where the customer is. We also would be open to piloting with a few offline centers in high footfall places, you know, which could be like colleges, companies, et cetera. So yes, that's what the, that's what the channel strategy is. Gosh, it sounds so refreshing right now. I know that people are planning uh, uh, crowded places to open up uh, food uh, counters, food kiosks, restaurants. Uh, is this the right time to do that? Uh, definitely not the best time to do that. But you know, if you have to plan for next five years, I think real estate locations are uh, available and available at a good price. So it's best to you know lock in 
some of those for the longer term for example you've been in touch with a few uh, tech parks a few uh, malls to see whether you know we can get some marquee locations like i said it's not going to be a core part of the strategy but definitely a good to have so if we can get like 5 10 locations in top 5 6 cities we'll be very happy to uh, you know place our stores our brands there because it's a it's a good way of you know interacting with the customer but yes not the best time to open it but definitely a best time to plan it Ankit, you know, I want to get a sense from you also on what's going on, and who better than you to explain this? You know, you you told you explained it really well. You'll have to ride on Zomato Swiggy. You seem to be building a large partnership with Amazon. I'll get to that in a bit. You're doing a channel like Cult, which you know you were also a co-founder of, and you're doing your own app and a digital first um, channel too. How will all of this play out? Because from a consumer's perspective, um, how will it work? Like if I'm a consumer and I've got a Swiggy and a Zomato, why would I want to download your app? Sure. So you know, first of all, the way you have to look at it is that we are a house of brands. We've got about you know, 15 to 20 brands now, 20 to be precise. But we may merge a couple and you know, still be at 16, 17 brands by end of the year. It's still an emergency. But if we have 15 brands, they all have been made. Mid to large brands on Swiggy Zomato, customers know of those existence, their existence, and they will continue to buy on Swiggy Zomato. And some of these uh, brands also had their website where they would get ten to twenty percent of all orders from their own channel directly. Especially because you know uh, people know the restaurant, they know the uh, you know uh, channel very well. They know they'll come on time, etc. But if that's not the case, why would anyone download the Eat Fit app or even for that matter a Cake Zone app? It's only because you know they we are able to offer something different on the app which a swiggy zomato or amazon currently can't offer on eat fit app subscription is a large part of our revenue where you know people can subscribe for 30 meals a month or seven meals a week and you know uh, packs like that on cake zone app cake zone is our largest cake brand dessert brand you know we have uh, you know we it's still it's still a version 1 but we we have uh, capabilities of customizing the cake or being able to order for a particular time slot and you know putting a message on there on the cake etc which uh, on swiggy zomato might not be possible at this point in time so uh, people who are your top loyalists or top fans they will download your app or may not download the app but still go to the website each time and order but from a from a revenue point of view right now about 15 to 18% of our revenue comes from our own channels and we we envision that number to be 30% and remaining 70% across swiggy zomato amazon and other channels that's how we are looking at our business mix right now i'm saying that super apps seem to be the buzzword and how everybody seems to be planning for super apps and consumers are expected to have all of the super apps <laughs> yeah right so you know i think uh, here i can probably talk about amazon as an app you know which uh, truly is one of the real super apps in india where you know you can uh, order almost everything under the sun and now there are payment solutions and amazon prime video which has top class content and in bangalore for the last many quarters they've been doing a pilot around food and uh, for now i think in bangalore uh, amazon is uh, a, a decent a uh, minority uh, you know uh, revenue share for us but i think uh, once they start launching it in other cities it will become a meaningful player and it caters to people who actually truly think of amazon as super app so i think a lot of such players will keep coming up we also sell on phone pay app and we get a few orders there so i think super app Uh, people uh, from my point of view as a, as a tech entrepreneur i feel customers will find their own super apps they may not have all apps everyone will find their own super apps uh, swiggy is almost a super app now with insta mart and food and jinny and what not being there so i think customers will find a bunch of these apps which can cater to multiple use cases and like any other industry tech industry there will be a number one number two and a distant number three but uh, three to four players will exist in each category uh, likewise in food we are very confident that there will be room for three to four apps uh, while swiggy zomato could be the number one and two or number two and one in whatever order it is uh, but there will be room for three four and five for their own niche but from an app strategy point of view we are okay being number 4 number 5 in the food app but from a brand point of view we are very sure that whichever category that we play in whether it's a dessert or a biryani or a pizza or a 
or a you know indian food brand we want to be amongst top 3 in each of them in like 3 to 5 years so if if we have a biryani brand we would rather we want it to be like a top 3 biryani brand and not be a number 5 likewise pizza brand and likewise uh, in indian health brand so eat fit uh, has always been the number 1 indian health brand in uh, you know in the ecosystem we would want all other acquired brands to get there in 3 years gosh uh, th- these days branded biryanis uh, seem to be the real flavor of the season so i can make out you also have plans absolutely you know you can't you can't not have a biryani strategy if you're a food tech player uh, we have a slightly different strategy from some other players while there are uh, really good brands by some of our competitors in the space we are actually taking a very regional view of biryani so instead of having a one national brand that we're trying to build we have about three different smaller brands over each region we have a biryani brand called aligarh house which you know sells in uh, you know bangalore hyderabad and some other markets uh, we have a biryani called sharif bhai which is again a very different take on biryani and now we've just uh, last in the last round of acquisitions acquired ammi's biryani rights to ammi's biryani which was a large national player a few years back we'll be relaunching that so we actually are taking a very uh, you know uh, uh, different approach to building biryani where we feel it's a very regional flavor aligarh house is more north indian style sharif bhai is more hyderabadi style so we're trying to you know see whether we can have two three brands and try and grow all of them and see if at least two of those three grow very well then we can take all of them both of them national if not then we're okay to keep them regional uh, food brands need not be national in nature and and that's a very large part of our strategy which is why when you said we have acquired two pizza brands that's the same strategy junos for who stayed in bombay would know is a great pizza brand in bombay been around for a while and uh, you know in in the in the middle of pandemic they pivoted to being a online first brand and you know brilliant ratings great brand love likewise uh, nomad for people who live in delhi and cr they would know that it's a great brand which has grown in the last few years uh, digital first brand and why then why you know force junos to go to delhi or force uh, you know Uh, no matter to come to hyderabad they can continue to you know open 20 30 40 stores mm-hmm. in their respective cities while you know our apps can have different brands in different cities so we are not in a, we're not going to ever force any brand to scale nationally if we see signs of brands scaling in their regions probably it can go national but again at a group level we would want to be a number one biryani player number one pizza player number one in health food provider but it could come from different brands and aggregate at an aggregate level we could be number one so you know uh, what the pandemic also did ankit was um, in many 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 people into home bakers home chefs and many of them are now carrying on with that passion we've all read all of those stories right um so many of them may have dreams too how do they get in touch uh, with uh, cure foods and ankit nagori i'm asking this on their behalf <laughs> we we do have uh, you know website and uh, social media handles where we invite brands and uh, homemakers to uh, partner with us we have a platform called masala box which is specifically built for homemakers we've got uh, over 200 homemakers registered there we deliver their food to customers on a daily basis whether they are bakers or just you know cooking biryani or any other dish we've been doing that uh, what we have seen though nantara is that the scale in that business is not huge you know any baker or any home chef can only deliver x many items so it's a good business to be in but to be able to scale to hundreds of orders you have to move to move out of your homes and become a business which also we have seen you know we've seen a few people who started off as a home chef home baker but during the pandemic transition to being a small brand on swiggy and zomato so we are in touch with a lot of them but uh, very happy to you know uh, look at all these kind of partnerships uh, please feel free to reach out to us on curefoods.in that's our website and you can go and check out you know the place where you can register as a uh, as a partner Now, Ankit, you know the thing about the food business is whether you are going to be a food tech or you're going to have a single cafe, right? Is it has to be a volume business. Um, otherwise, 
because otherwise it's a very low margin business unless you get the volumes in, right? Now, when you scale up Cure Foods, uh, you want to be the number one, number two in every category that you want to be in. Uh, you will have to compete with like serious capital. You're going to have to compete with those that are okay giving deep discounts as well. And that's not out of their own pocket, right? These are all very well capitalized food tech companies. How will you work with that? Because the Indian consumer is also very price conscious. Yes, Nantara, I think we do realize that it's, this will require a lot of capital and we are strategizing around that. We are building a strategy where we can have a very, very long, uh, you know, uh, uh, play where we think very long term. We are able to create a very long term view of things. Uh, from a capital raising point of view, Nantara, we have already raised a bunch of, uh, you know, a couple of rounds earlier and we've been able to, you know, uh, keep a lot more investors excited. So I think uh, in terms of funding, we will be one of the uh, better funded players in the market. So, uh, but we don't think that, you know, we want to utilize that money only on only on discounts or only on, uh, you know, uh, burn. In fact, we are on very healthy margins. We, we aspire to be profitable by end of this 2022 year. And uh, all our investments will actually go into, you know, creating more technology, more cloud kitchens, more mechanization in kitchens, uh, uh, you know, building brands with the help of some celebrities, etc. That's how we're looking at our business. Okay, so you're going to rope in celebrities, you're going to focus on the cloud kitchen infrastructure. Let's see how all of this goes. And Ankit, you know, it's always a pleasure talking to you. Thanks so much for giving us this interview right here on ET Now. Look forward to checking in with you in a couple of months to figure out if all of these acquisitions have worked out as you wanted. Absolutely. Thanks, Nayantara, and have a great day. Thank you. Thank you.